Hey guys, it's Hogan here and today I'm going to show you how to easily secure your WordPress website using a popular free plugin called All-in-One WP Security. So basically this plugin adds an extra layer of security to your WordPress website. Um, WordPress generally is already pretty secure, um, but just like a normal business or your house, you want to add um, alarms or maybe a security camera system to prevent theft or crime and the, basically the same goes for your website so you want to prevent you know hackers and bots from messing around with your website and all your hard work okay so if you don't want to lose all your work that you've spent hours on then follow this tutorial and let's get into it okay so before we get into it um, it'd be super awesome if we can hit 100 likes thank you for that so let's get into it um, hover over plugins and click on add new okay so we're going to search for a plugin called all in one WP security and then click on enter and we're going to install the one with 400,000 active installs with five star rating and click on install now activate that plugin and after you've activated you should see a little tab here called WP security you can click on the dashboard okay so this is the dashboard and you'll see a strength meter on the left hand side and basically all the um, settings that we enable it'll give you some points and it'll, this is basically like an indicator of um, how secure your website is and we're aiming to get you know um, in the green area around here we're not going to get to 470 because some of the settings are a bit advanced and I'm assuming a lot of people are following this tutorial and some of them you know if you're not very experienced it might lock you out or you might have a different WordPress setup or you might have some plugins and you know it might stop some functionality of your plugins okay so we need to at least get all these um, critical feature statuses to the on okay and basically I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly so click on settings and basically you can go to WP version info and basically what it does it basically hides your um, WordPress version information so people can't hackers can't scan your website and determine you know what version you're using and if they find that you're using your old version they might try to take advantage of that and try to hack into your website so save that and for user accounts um, this basically means that you shouldn't have a admin um, username okay because that's a really common username and people are going to test that username and you know that's already half of what people need to log into your website so change it to something unique um, your name or some random nickname or something like that and then click on display name and basically what this does is um, it'll tell you that you need to change your name as well because it's the same as your username so we can click on that and this thing will pop up okay some of you may have um, have a different nickname already but basically you can change that nickname like that and you can display name publicly as that okay so that's different from our login username and then we can just update profile and once that is done we can give that a little bit of refresh and for the password tab here um, basically it's like a little tool it's pretty cool so you can test different passwords that you have and it will basically tell you how long it takes to crack that password okay so for example if you type in um, let's type in strong okay with a zero ngp at okay so that takes 23 years to crack but if you add a exclamation mark then that'll take a thousand 627 years so that's a pretty long time okay so that should be pretty strong password and um, that's what I recommend you to use and then click on user login and basically this will lock the user out if they guess the wrong password okay so you want to tick tick all these and you can set the maximum login attempts and retry time periods and also the lockout time we're gonna tick this as well and you can tick this if you want to so basically what this does is if they enter in the wrong username then it'll instantly lock them out okay so I'm gonna tick that um, notified by email I normally don't tick it because there are so many bots these days that crawl the websites and they try to hack into your website so you're gonna be getting a lot of emails 
that's why I don't tick it. Okay, so save settings. And let's click on file login records. So basically this will tell you, you know, who is trying to access your website. I'll give you the IP addresses. Okay, so you can do some security investigations if you need to. And then for forced lockouts, log out, sorry, um, we're not going to enable it because you probably don't want to get logged out when you're building your website. Okay, and that would be really annoying. So let's go to user registration. And basically this part is if you actually enable people to register on your WordPress website, then this will allow you to manually approve those registrations um, and you'll have to approve them here. So we're going to check that, we're going to save that and we're also going to add a additional uh, layer of security with the capture. Okay, save the settings there. And for database security, now normally I don't recommend doing this because sometimes plugins might not be coded properly and it might affect the functionality of that. Okay, but if you want to, then you can do it, um, but make sure you get a backup before you do that. Okay, and same for database backup. You can back up the database. Um, you can tick this if you want to, and then it'll back it up for you. But I use a, um, a backup plugin, the Updraft Plus plugin, and that will back up everything from my themes and content and everything. I've got a tutorial on my channel, so make sure you check that out. I'll probably put the video up now. Okay, and let's give that a save and then what we need to do is file system security okay so make sure these are all green okay if they recommend action you can click that button there and it will change the recommended permissions okay for PHP file editing uh, we're going to tick that and save settings and as you can see, you know, they've got a detailed um, description of what everything does. So if you have time, then maybe you, you want to read through all those things. Okay. For the WP access file, um, we're going to enable this. Okay. So basically what that does is, um, for example, it will actually show the version of your website. So if they go to your website slash read, read me, HTML, it will show you the version. Okay, so if you're using your old version, then you know hackers might take advantage of that. So you want to enable that and save it. Okay, scroll down and click on Blacklist Manager. And basically, what this does is you can actually block specific IP addresses. So if you find out, you know, someone's been trying to hack in from the IP address, um, you know, quite frequently, then you can actually block out the IP address. Okay, and I normally just leave it. Um, I don't normally don't have that many problem with that. Okay, so but that's where you can actually set that IP address in. Make sure you don't enter in your one, otherwise it might lock you out. Okay, and yeah, so click on firewall. And for firewall, we want to select this one, and I'll leave that empty, and I'll leave those empty as well. And then go to prevent hot links. And basically hot linking, um, what it means is people might display your image on their website, but that image is actually located on your, you know, hosting or server. And that will basically take up, you know, the memory and bandwidth um, from your server rather than theirs. So you probably don't want that to happen. So tick that. And for brute force, um, basically, you can rename your login um, page. For example, default is WP admin. Um, you can actually change it to any name that you want. You can change it if you want to. So you can enter in the name, whatever name you want to. Um, but make sure to read that message there. Okay. And then click on login capture. Now you want to tick all these. So it enables capture for all your login pages. Save that. And go to honeypot and basically honeypot will enter in some kind of invisible form so you know only bots will actually see that and they'll fill that in but it's a a dummy field okay so basically if they input that then you know it'll be all wrong and stuff like that so tick that and save settings um, for your login uh, whitelist basically what that is is um, you can actually just put in your IP address and that will whitelist you. And what that means is all other IP addresses other than your own won't be able to log into your website. Okay, so 
that probably isn't that good because sometimes you might be logging in from your work or you might be traveling and then you can't log in. So that's probably not too good. Okay, for spam protection, these are adding some capture to the comment form. So you want to tick all those and save settings. And then we can go to scanner. And scanner will basically scan your um, website for any file changes. So we're going to tick that. And sometimes it might pick up stuff that aren't really important. And um, you can actually enter in the file names here. So it actually ignores it. Okay, so if you click on this, then it'll actually provide you some more information of how to do that. Okay, we're going to leave that there and I'm not going to tick that. And then I'm going to save the settings. And then go to maintenance. Okay, so maintenance basically means you can set in the maintenance mode so people can't see your website. Okay, so you know if you're having problems with the website and you're fixing it, then you can check that option. For miscellaneous, um, you can check this option if you don't want people to um, be able to copy from your website or right click. But generally, I feel that's kind of annoying because you know you want to copy stuff and you want to paste stuff to send to your friend or you know you might want to google um, something and you might want to copy that but you can't and that's kind of annoying so I'll normally leave that unticked for frames um, you want to tick that option okay so you don't want people iframing your website okay so save settings and basically that is pretty much it um, those are the basic settings that you'll need. Okay, I think I might have not, I might have missed something here. Click on firewall. Okay, so I didn't check that or I didn't save it. And let's save that option. Go back to the dashboard and should get somewhere around 280. And that is pretty safe already. But if you want to make your website like a fortress, um, read all the settings and things like that before you do and Yeah, so if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and see you guys in the next tutorial